All right. Way to go, Harold. <laughs> You're doing good, Harold. Do good. Be ready to reel. Lay the rod out that way, buddy. So, we, yeah. You want to keep some bend in it. Your dad will get it. I <laughs> jumped over the net. <laughs> Woohoo! A keeper, Harold. It's keeper number one for the day, Harold. Right in the lip, pinch him tight and hand under the belly. Hand under the belly. Show him off to the camera, buddy. Hey guys, welcome to the show. John Bergsman here with Fisherman's Digest and the Destination Outdoor Series. We're here on Big Manistique Lake in Curtis. First fish of the day for my grandson, Harold. and. Uh, Adam's up next. We just set up right in front of Pine Bluff Resort. We're gonna make a little pass here. Just make a shoreline pass early in the morning. There should be some fish around and uh, stay tuned. We're gonna show you a mixed bag today. We're gonna hopefully catch walleye, smallmouth, northern pike, and perch. Stay tuned here on Destination Outdoors from Curtis, Michigan. Fisherman's Digest is brought to you by PolarCraft, the toughest built aluminum boats, bar none. Dreamweaver, home of the revolutionary spin doctor. Lose, feel the difference. Wave Pro, best ride on the water. Nice fish, Addy. Just be easy with it. Get your rod tip bent and over that way. <laughs> we have our third species. We have a northern pike giving Adam a, a tussle. There we go. Lift it in. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Well, we're going to hold it for sure with your dad. Find your bud, get your hands under it. <laughs> well, I think it probably is a keeper, but we're going to try to get walleye and perch today. So you can see right here on the graph on our Garmin, we've got a walleye right down there. And we're just in a clean gravelly bottom area, about eight feet deep. I'm just trying to keep the boat. We're, we're Hummer trolling. I mean, I'm trolling with the 200 today. Huh? So we're going, what, 2.35. And it just seems like that's a good speed early in the morning, midsummer. Don't go too slow. That's the mistake people make. If you're going to use live bait like a spinner and leech rig, fine, go 1.3, 1.4. But if you're using crankbaits in the middle of August, like we are today, you got to be going up above two for sure to catch these fish. They, they want it fast. Yesterday was our first day here. We caught some really nice fish, 2.7. I mean, we are blowing with the wind going 2-7 and getting big fish to bite, so uh, don't be afraid of going that quick. 
Well, I want it to be a big walleye too, but it's right there, only 15 feet behind the board, remember, John? Just right there. Yeah. <laughs> it's off in the net. Perfect, John. Butchy, butchy, butchy. We're gonna no, no, no. We're gonna hold that. We want to show everybody what you catch out here, don't you, Butchy? He's been catching all the big walleye. You got him? No. Two hands. Get the hand underneath the belly. Come on, no. There you go. Yeah. Way to go, Butch. That is a big walleye. Fisherman's Digest is brought to you by Angler Quest, built with purpose. Trax Tech, the ultimate fishing system. Strike King, tie one on. Garmin. Have that net right there, and Adam's doing a good job. Now this is a, this is total multi-species fishing. Goes crazy on us. It's a northern. We aren't gonna give me a little line there. Thank you. We aren't gonna put the net down because if we do, it'll roll. So John will grab the pliers and try to get that out while I hold it. It seems like the littler ones are actually harder. See now the fish is free. We can get them out of the net much more safely. We'll worry about the bait later. And then Adam will hold that up and show you. It's a really nice little fish. And that's how you do it. You just set a spread of rods out, guys. If you want to fish with kids in the middle of the summer and you're on an inland lake, you got two options. You got live bait, that'd be spinners and crawlers or leeches, or you got small crankbaits. And Adam, hand me this rod and we'll show you what we're talking about. It's just a little Berkeley flicker minnow number five that one happens to be white you could pick crayfish you're really just matching matching what lives in inland lakes you know a fire tiger one would match a perch this little white one would match just a minnow a crayfish colored one obviously matches a crayfish these little crankbaits number fours number fives number sixes number sevens they're hard to beat when you go trolling on any inland lake anywhere that I've ever fished as, you know, as a professional or as now doing my TV show. It's hard to beat just a minnow imitating bait, a small one. <laughs> so that's one of the things right there is you see this rod holder right here. This is a little Trax Tex lay flat rod holder. And what I do is I customize this rig with 10 pound fire line, four pound diameter, 10 pound fire line. And I put a little shad style bait on it. And what I do is I found the depth that will run just off the bottom. And then all I do is light drag it so that if you get a big fish, it'll take it out. And then you just put it right there and it runs right at water level. Water level. And what you don't have to deal with is boards. So you'll have two of those. You'll see John on his side's got one set already. Then he'll, I'll drive and he'll come over here and set my side. So that way, there's always two rods that are fishing for perch. We're setting those rods to run one foot off the bottom. And we're seeing all these perch on the bottom in these random areas where there's that perch grass. And uh, where that perch grass is, perch grass is only six, eight inches high and the perch lay right in it. Whoa. <laughs> you turn and hold that line. Turn, yep, turn and face the camera. That's what you catch at Big Man Mystique Lake. Some beautiful perch, huh? Well, let's take them off. Let it go. Let's put them in the live well, right? See, you got perch grass. It's really fuzzy, and you got perch. See those yellow perch laying right in there tight? And then you got a big walleye right above it. There's more perch laying right in that perch grass. Guys, you gotta have a graph that's good enough to give you that definition. That's key. If you can't see that, you don't know to fish for it. Keep it coming, you wanna keep her walleye.
I got him, John. Okay. Keep reeling. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Snoliver, you're going to have to hold that one for the camera. Well, that was pretty quick, John. We got skiers and tubers. Guys, look at me. We got a skier and tuber there. Behind Brett, the cameraman, we got a pontoon pulling a skier. We just went around a skier who just went through the area. It doesn't matter. I hear so many people say to me, oh, all the skiers, I can't catch fish. We just caught two nice perch, lost a smallmouth, and caught a keeper walleye, and we haven't gone 200 yards almost. Good job, Snolly. Okay, into the live while he goes, Oliver. Fisherman's Digest is brought to you by Offshore Tackle Products. Flowfast, world's leading portable fluid transfer system. Drato, catch and release boat system. Another keeper walleye. It's awesome, but well, the small town of Curtis, Michigan, located about an hour west of the Mackinac Bridge, in between Highway 2 and 28, commonly referred to as the Manistique Lakes Recreation Area, has been a family vacation favorite for probably 75 years. Ever since the resorts really started to pop up on these lakes after World War II. Families really started to lock in on Curtis as a great base camp, a great hub to work their vacations off of. You know, just an hour away from Curtis is uh, Oswald's Bear Ranch, the Taquamanon Falls, uh, Munising, the town of Munising with Pictured Rocks National Shorelines. An hour and a half away, you can go visit the Sioux Locks. You can head a little bit further west and there's the town of Escanaba and all of the attractions in between there. So this is really a great spot to base yourself for an Upper Peninsula exploratory vacation. As far as the fishing is concerned, the town of Curtis boasts two very, very productive inland lakes. South Manistique Lake, which is about a 5,000 acre lake and it has a really solid population of walleye, smallmouth and largemouth bass, bluegills, crappie, perch, basically a nice mixed bag of game fish. Big Manistique at Sister Lake, which is just, just across the waterway and the little town of Curtis sits between them, is about a 10,000 acre lake and is known as a very productive walleye fishery and smallmouth bass fishery and is really also known in the fall, the month of September and October, for its great perch fishery. So as far as Curtis is concerned, to the fishermen and to the vacationer, you almost couldn't do better than this little tiny town from basically the, the start of the season on Memorial Day all the way through the Labor Day uh, holiday weekend. This is a place where you'll want to come and you'll want to experience. Wow! <laughs> Yeah, just picking a nondescript shore. I mean, we were fighting it, John and I were little, weren't we, John? Just fighting it with the weeds. We just went to a shoreline, put the boat in the right depth for the baits we were running. This right here, that's what you can get when you just load the boat up with a bunch of kids, have a great time. John's got one right there. Try this with a bunch of kids sometime on an inland lake near you, small crankbaits, a couple of grandkids, a couple of fish, a fish fry coming. Hey, this is John Bergsma with my grandkids and my son-in-law, John, from Big Manistique Lake in Curtis. Hey, thanks for joining us on Destination Outdoors. We'll see you again next week. We have no idea where, but we'll be fishing somewhere. Closed captioning is brought to you by WavePro. Best ride on the water. Online at waveproshock.com.